This is the new DJI Osmo Mobile 3. And in my opinion, this is the best all around mobile phone gimbal that you can get on the market. If that's all the information that you need, then click the link in the description below and buy one now. But if you want more information on this gimbal and see some footage that I shot using the new Mobile 3, then stick around for this review. The last mobile gimbal to come out from DJI was in January of 2018 with the Osmo Mobile 2. It was a great gimbal and came at a great price point, but a lot has changed over the last year and a half and competing companies have refined the mobile handheld market even more, forcing DJI to go back to the drawing board and create this, the new Mobile 3. First off, the Osmo Mobile 3 comes with a lot of the same features that we love with the Osmo Mobile 2 that makes it stand out against the competition. And that really comes down to the amazing DJI app and all the features that you can do built into that app. Hyperlapse, motion tracking, manual shooting, portrait and landscape modes with video and photo, beauty filters built in to the app as well so you can look your best making this app one of the best all-around apps to go with a gimbal. For me, the motion tracking feature is one of the most impressive features of the Osmo Mobile 3 and I guess the Mobile 2. All you have to do is just draw a square around your subject and the camera completely tracks wherever that subject is going in the frame. It's pretty amazing and this is a really handy feature if you're a vlogger who's filming yourself. I think this is perfect for setting the camera down, putting a boxer on your face, and just walking and talking around the gimbal. The gimbal will actually move as you talk and move around. It's a really great feature and I think it's one of the biggest selling points of this gimbal. But let's talk about the hardware itself because that's actually what's mostly changed here with the Osmo Mobile 3. First off, it's tiny and it packs down perfectly. As you can see right now in its fully extended operational mode, it's ready to go. But if you're wanting to pack light, all you have to do is just take the tripod mount off, pull this little thing down here and it all kind of clicks into place here. Nice satisfying click, listen. Well, oh, hold on. Right there, boom, clicky click, and boom, it's locked in there. It's not just folded down, but it's locked. It's not gonna wobble around, it's not gonna act up. This is a really great, small, compact solution. I can actually fit this in my little fanny pack, and if you're a hype beast like me, you can actually put this in your fanny packs and walk around all day long. The Osmo Mobile 3 comes with this little tripod holder thing. When you screw it on the bottom here, it acts as an extra handle that you can use, but it's also a, tripod, which is great. You could set this down and use it as a tripod. But what's really great is when you collapse the thing down, boom, now you're in selfie mode. And it gives you a little bit extra extension here from the grip, giving you a much better selfie shot because the cameras on the iPhone at least are not super wide. And I hope that changes with the newer phones. There are some phones that can already shoot super wide, but in my opinion, the built-in lens on the iPhone is just not wide enough when you're just holding it at normal arm's length. So you need like a selfie stick like this to get you a wider shot with your face in the shot that's not too big and distracting. Obviously this has kind of a strange shape to it. It goes at an angle like this and it kind of shoots out and there's a reason for it. This angle actually solves a big problem that we had with the original Osmo Mobile 2 and a lot of competing gimbals. And that is not being able to plug in anything to your phone while you're using the gimbal. This strange kind of offset orientation allows for full clearance of the lightning port or the USB port that you have on your phone, giving you the option to plug in an external microphone, making this a much better solution for anybody who wants to do professional sounding videos. Also, of course, this allows for charging the phone while using it. And that actually leads to the next point with the hardware here. We do have a USB port here on the side, which is perfect for plugging in your charging port. There's a USB C port right here. This does not charge your phone. Unfortunately, it's not USB-C on both sides, but I think they opted with the USB-A port here just for compatibility. Most people have USB-A to whatever you're using to charge your phone with. So for me, I'm plugging just a normal Apple lightning cable here, and I can actually charge the phone using the gimbal itself as like an additional battery to back up the battery on my phone. When you're shooting 4K a lot on your phone, your battery drains quite a bit. So having the ability to charge your phone via the gimbal itself is great. Now, what about the battery life of the gimbal, you may ask? Well, the gimbal battery life is amazing at 15 hours of battery life using the Osmo Mobile 3. Now, of course, if you're plugging in your phone over the USB port, I would imagine that would probably cut it down to maybe 10 hours, but still, that is a lot of battery life and totally enough 
for a full day shoot. One of the advancements that we get with this new hardware is the ability to rotate both portrait and landscape modes using the mode switch on the gimbal. This is a huge deal for a lot of people wanting to go between landscape for YouTube videos and then portrait mode for those Instagram TV videos. I think that's one of the biggest changes that has happened since the last Mobile 2, which came out a year and a half ago. IGTV is now here. Portrait mode is even more acceptable than ever. And I think it's important to have the ability to quickly switch between portrait mode and video mode. And this gimbal can do it quickly by just tapping the mode switch. It can go in landscape or portrait. It's nice and smooth, really fluid, easy to use, very intuitive, and a great system built in with the Osmo Mobile 3. The original Osmo Mobile 2 actually had to do it manually with like a kind of a clicky mechanism, just like how the clicks are here, but it was kind of a pain in the butt. You had to turn the gimbal off to switch it. You could do it with it on, but it's dangerous. So having it do it automatically with the Osmo Mobile 3 is great. What if I wanna use an accessory like a moment lens or a Polar Pro ND filter? Well, you can do it, but you're gonna to have to use an offset weight or something on the other side of the gimbal here. Uh, I don't know if it'll work perfectly. I haven't done any tests with that. I'll have to let you know. For now, I would recommend just kind of shooting with the native phone. One of the great things about this is there's no knobs or adjustments for balancing. It's all just using the weight of your phone to kind of adjust it. The previous gimbal had a lock on the side, so you had to have these knobs to adjust your balance. But now because the phone can freely slide in between this with full clearance, you can just balance it using the phone itself. So maybe you don't even need a counterweight for a moment lens or something. You can actually just slide your phone over. Then of course your problem is the fact that the clamp is on the volume button or the home button. We're gonna have to probably figure out some sort of solution there for additional accessories, but the balancing on the new Osmo Mobile 3 is a lot better than the original. So after you're done shooting for 15 hours on the Osmo Mobile 3, you need to charge the battery on this thing. They've included a USB-C port for charging, which I think is perfect. I wish that it was USB-C here as well to charge your phone, but I'll just take it as is. It's nice to have USB-A. All this hardware and software is great, but what about smoothness? What about cinematic shots? Does it actually look good? And the answer is yes. DJI is of course a leader when it comes to gimbals and smoothness. They've got drones, they've got professional gimbals, and now they've got this Osmo Mobile 3. They're including a lot of the same algorithms and the research and development that they've done for their drones and for their high-end gimbals, and they're applying it here to the Osmo Mobile 3. That is one of the biggest advantages of DJI over the other companies that are out there making gimbals. So they have this amazing information and research that they've done for high, high-end cinematic gimbal technology. And they're applying it here to this cheap $120 gimbal. And that leads me to the final thing about this gimbal, the price point. $119. This is a steal and almost an impulse purchase for a lot of people. I know for me, ever since I've been kind of shooting everything myself, having two cameras to film everything with, it's a big pain in the neck. It's hard to balance those things. The reason I say two cameras is because I'm reviewing one camera and then filming myself reviewing that camera with another camera. And I've actually been using my iPhone a lot of the times for B-roll because it's so much easier and quicker to just use. It's something that I have on me 24 seven. I always have my phone in my pocket and having something like this in my little moment fanny pack, which I'm carrying around with me everywhere I go anyways, for my wallet, my keys and my extra batteries, having this built into my little fanny pack with my iPhone in my pocket means that I can kind of have cinematic shots anywhere I go. I shot a lot of the footage that you saw in this video in the Filmic Pro app using the Prolog 2.0 picture profile, which looks amazing. It has amazing dynamic range. You're able to shoot at crazy high bit rates with the Filmic Pro app. And I'm sure once the Osmo Mobile 3 actually ships, Filmic Pro will update their app to support it. They already support the Osmo Mobile 2, meaning you could hit the record button here and do the wide tight zoom inside of Filmic Pro using the Osmo. So I'm sure they'll update the hardware features there with the Filmic Pro app. So if you're a professional video shooter, 
This is a great option. It's so small and compact. You can pretty much stick this in wherever you would put a water bottle. I mean, it's really small and lightweight and it's so easy to use. And if you're an influencer content creator who only uses a mobile phone, this is a great option. I think it's a huge upgrade from the original Osmo Mobile 2 and I think it's a worthy addition to your kit. Hey buddy, you wanna be in the end here? So if you liked this video, I've included a playlist with some other videos that I think you'll enjoy. If you're interested in mobile phone shooting, and if that's not something that tickles your fancy, then check out a Canon review here of the RP, one of my favorite kind of budget mirrorless cameras. What do you think of that, Ryan? 